Hello, people of New World. It's me, Lamani, and welcome back to the channel. And today, I want to talk about Season 1 leveling. As you can see, I did achieve the feat of hitting level 100 on day one without buying a single tier. I did, indeed, get this super neat skin after doing it. But then, about a little over an hour or so after I hit 100, this is what happened. All of a sudden, I was doing an invasion and we had a pop-up. Seems that some season one things are being disabled. We go over to the forums and we see there's a post. And it just so happens that the Azoth stamp, the cooking stamp, and the consuming T5 consumable stamps are all disabled. All three are things that I use to grind the battle pass. So after getting through a very painful Empyrean Forge run with some pugs, and then finding out that my double XP token method that I posted last week no longer works and they changed without saying anything, we then went to our secondary method, which was standing still at a cooking station with about 10,000 of each food and 10,000 spices and simply cooking meals, using Azoth vials to reroll, and then consuming tier 5 consumables, which count as hearty meals. But my method was essentially never leave town, stand still at a cooking station, and boom, sit there and grind for a couple hours. I got this done in under eight hours with a ton of breaks. I took a doctor's appointment. I sat there and had a cleaning emergency, took a lunch break, took a snack break, took another snack break, hung out, watched some videos, and we got the job done. Now, what I will say is this is clearly not the method that they were hoping for with the season pass as it really doesn't promote seasonal content, nor does it promote gameplay. But GG, get wrecked, all you other nerds. I got to do it before you. Anyway, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But... What would I suggest in terms of what else can be done? I'm going to say keep your eyes peeled for a video that's going to come out tomorrow or later this next week. And I'm going to cover what methods are going to be the best for actually playing the game, but also getting through the season pass as fast as possible. I kind of want to wait and see what happens with some of these challenges that they remove. Now for AGS, one, hire me. I'd love it. I think I have some ideas. <laughs> and maybe we could avoid stuff like this in the future. But on a more serious note, now my suggestions for how to improve the battle pass, I think it's a good idea to get rid of the 25 cooking or crafting challenge. If you want to leave it as crafting items, you're going to still have the same fundamental issue if people are just going to craft something else, right? A consumable like a potion or they're going to craft gear. Now this comes down to another issue. If you look at pretty much all the Azoth vial things, they're all generally crafted gypsum warp, which if you have enough stockpiled, you can use. I ended up using a few of those and it's just because I had a lot set up. But when it comes down to never leaving town, Right now on live, you can still do the craft 10 of a tier five consumable. That challenge still exists. So you could do the Azoth vials, those weird potion looking stamps with hearty meals still. Now you can't consume and you can't spend Azoth, meaning you do have to leave town for some other things. But we also have craft five items from a weaponsmith or an armor smithing station. And then you also have the one for salvaging tier five items. All of those challenges just promote you standing in town and never leaving. The whole potion sort of stamp is sort of just a, hey, you can craft, you can do this or do some general easy life things, but it also is don't actually play the season and just stand there in town. So I think that in general, that potion vial needs a little bit of a rework. Now, if we look at the, the axe one, the one with consuming T5 consumables, I think this is one that should be removed. I think Again, you're just going to have the same issue. People are just going to switch to potions. You can grab one of each potion if this gets put back in the game and just cycle through them as they come off cooldown. It might take a little bit longer than what I did. It's just going to still be a problem. I think also the spending Azoth one needs to be removed and just stay out of the game if you really want players to go out into the world. Now, what I will say is in terms of speed and where we're going to be going with our video that we're creating is a lot of the ones that will promote you leaving can be easily done, such as the axes and swords, where we're looking at harvesting a T5 resource node, but also skinning a T5 animal, skinning an animal in general, killing a beast, and then killing something with a specific weapon type. Basically, what the speed method is probably going to become is go somewhere where you can kill a bunch of boars at the T5 boars, probably in Eden Grove, with a certain weapon type when you get all of those rolls. Go out, re-roll your card until you get a guaranteed three stamp from doing that. Go do it, and then roll while you're out there. You'll start leaving town, but what it will become is grab one of each type of weapon and never leave your spot, right? So it's, it's just a matter of how are you going to look at this and how much are you going to have to actually roll your vials. 
it really comes down to player sweat, in my opinion. I think in terms of these cooking challenges, these consuming challenges, the Azoth rerolling challenges, those just all need a fundamental rework and change or just a complete drop from the seasonal stamping so that you don't have to worry about this concern. Just wanted to get this out there. Just wanted to talk about it a little bit, give my suggestions, and I will give you some better seasonal leveling content because my previous method was stumped. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're enjoying the season. There's a lot of great things coming, but in the meantime, Keep watching my videos. I <laughs> hit the icy veins and go over to Twitch and watch me do some live streams later in the evening. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate the time you spend watching my content. I appreciate the time you spend supporting me. I would not be here if it weren't for all of you. So as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And thank you to every single one of you beautiful people for being you. Peace.